So we got Magic Mel from Cute and Cozy on Main Street, and it says to Kai and Jesse. So I'm gonna turn it over because the back actually says something super cute. So let me open up this package so you guys can see. The wrapping paper is cute. Wrap it is very cute, huh? I'm excited to like see what's in here. I feel like I know, well obviously we know what it is, but we just don't know what they look like. Okay. <gasps> oh! That's so These cute. Are cute. Okay, so on the note, it says, Kai and Jesse, congratulations on your marriage. I wish you a lifetime of happiness for you both. I hope you love your new cozies. Cute and cozy on Main Street. Jacqueline. Jacqueline. So thank you very much, Jacqueline. This is so cute. I think there's more, though. Hold on. This is so cute. And the San Francisco 49ers. So, okay, we have the Mr. and Mrs. And then we have San Francisco 49ers one. So we have one for me, one for Jesse, and one for his dad. So... Originally, it was only supposed to be the San Francisco, right? Is this, yeah. this is a surprise. So this one was a surprise. That is so cute. I am obsessed. Like, look how cute that is. And you usually wear white, and I usually wear black, so it's yeah. just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. We appreciate you, and Thank we appreciate your family so much. I hope you have a good birthday, because today is your birthday as we're filming this. All right. Happy birthday. And I hope you a prosperous year. And that everything you desire comes true. We appreciate you so much for these. These are so cute. I cannot wait to like rock these. Like I already yes. want to rock them. Hello guys, welcome back. Hey guys, so today is March 6th. We are gonna be going to Disneyland and just enjoying our time and getting to literally just enjoy the rain. Like that's all we're gonna be able to do. Let's go. All right, we just got to the parking. We are actually in Mickey. This is like the second time that we're in Mickey, but let's go to Disneyland and enjoy it. I told myself I'd never cave to like the white sock trend. Um, felt miserably because I start, I did it. <laughs> First it was only gonna be the crew socks, but then she ended up saying, I always wanted a headband. And then she got it. But it looks sporty, don't I? Yes, it looks cute. <laughs> It's raining here. Um, on our way over, it was like dry. It also only took us 20 minutes to get here today. We don't have an umbrella. We don't have ponchos, so we're like winging it today. But it's probably gonna get empty. So I'm here for it. All right, this is the aftermath of walking through rain, yeah, and bad. we're in gray sweatshirts, so you can see the raindrops. Um, my hair is wet. My hair is gonna get very frizzy. It looks like it's a hair wash day for me. Okay guys, it stopped raining just a little bit. A little bit. It's still like drizzling, but I'm hoping we get like um, the rainy cast form from Pokemon come out. Because I just have the regular cast form. So we're gonna play Pokemon and just wander the parks, get on rides, just enjoy our day. But let's go, it's let's go. not raining right now. Jesse was saying that the one thing that truthfully sucks a lot is that when it is raining, which we should have put in like our um, like tips. our tips and tricks video, is that when it's raining, there's no characters, characters out, out, and there's also no photographers like PhotoPass out, so you can't even take advantage of like the really nice cameras. So I know a lot of people come so they can take pictures with Mickey or Minnie, and it really does suck that you guys pay that much to not get any pictures with them when it's raining. Yeah, so like definitely make sure that on the day you are wanting to come, if you have like a set day planned, Keep checking like the weather sometimes it can say it's gonna rain and then it doesn't sometimes it can say it's gonna be like sunny and then it doesn't and it rains so just keep up with the weather and also try to pick a day where you know for sure it's gonna be sunny because I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna want to see characters and the more characters are out the more pictures you have and the more memories you have especially if you have children oh so. and no parade as well and no parade if it, if it rains. 
Okay. So, yeah. We went into Five and Dime Elias and Co. to seek shelter from like the, the rain. It's drizzling now, but we're gonna go over to Adventures Campus because there's still okay. more merch over there. And maybe we'll see, I don't know. I don't think so, but maybe we'll see a character. It's so cool when you come on like a rainy day, everyone's wearing like the Disney ponchos that they sell. And in the famous words of Forky, everyone looks like they're trash. <laughs> and you know, I do not mean that like in a mean way. I just mean that like kind of bringing Disney into a joke. Cause you know, Forky does say I'm trash. <laughs> I would not be mad right now if we got a blueberry pancake cold brew from right here. Oh yeah, it was so good. So good. All right, so we just took some photos with like the only photo pass photographer I've seen out today. However, he was telling us that the infamous Jeep in Adventures Campus is copyrighted even for photographers. So like, he was like, I can't take the photo of you in front of the Jeep, but I can take the photo of you in front of the like A, which is that one. He's and like, like he doesn't even know what the copyright is. It could be the tires, it could be the, the car. Know, the car, I don't know. And um, he's like, but I have the only other cop non-copyrighted truck that looks similar to this. And he was telling us like what details he has on it. It's so cool. We like spoke to him for a good amount of time. He was funny. So it's currently raining, and this is why you don't come on a rainy day. No. Luigi's is down. We'll show you guys right now. So I can't even go on my quinceanera car. Yeah, they're all like... They're all covered. Out of service. Yeah, I think mainly because it's an outdoor magnetic ride. Yes, that's and it's why they like, can't do it. Maybe because if a magnet doesn't like work correctly, um, maybe it can slip. Yes. It's a safety hazard, so just, you know, it'll go down. I want to go see Meter. Let's go. So this is perfect for Kai, because she loves her pasta. I, I, I want to see too. Like, every time his mom either makes, like, spaghetti, or she makes, like, this spicy one that has, like, ham. She makes, like, all types of pasta. I always want to just eat, like, a full bowl of She it. gets the whole... No, you do get the whole bowl. bowl. <laughs> Especially when she makes her, her I was gonna say Paschetti. Oh yeah, you should probably let her know, let them know why. When I was little, I used to say Paschetti. So I still say it and now Jesse says it. So sometimes you'll notice me say instead of spaghetti, I'll say Paschetti. But like sometimes his mom will make some. And spaghetti is really good with like sour, not sour cream, crema. Crema. Oh. Like, cre oh. like Mexican crema. So it's kind of like sour cream, but it's a different taste. And it's so good with like cheese and sour cream or like crema mexicana but well, we get the central american one huh? the central american yes but it's so good i'm craving it <laughs> all right we decided to seek shelter because it's raining like profusely now my hair has gone a little frizzy but it's still there's style to it <laughs> um so we wanted to talk a little bit about disney channel night because the first night aired or like started yesterday and there's only two of them and um honestly I grew up watching Disney Channel. He did too. Yes. I grew up watching like Lizzie McGuire, um, Sweet Life and Zach and Cody, Phineas and Ferb, um, High School Musical, Camp Rock. Um, Lemonade Mouth. Lemonade Mouth. There's another one that I can't remember. The one with Selena Gomez and Demi Lovato. Princess Protection Program. Yes. Um, I grew up watching a lot of like musicals and dancing like I loved mm -hmm. that because I grew up dancing and I grew up singing and I you guys know like I sing um I'm not the greatest I won't say I'm the greatest but she sings, she sings good though <laughs> and um there's a lot of other shows that I loved watching I grew up watching like uh Lizzie McGuire the movie um Kim Possible the Cheetah Girls. I mean, I can name so many other. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. I mean, you can't go wrong with Hannah Montana. All the crossovers. For me, it's a little bit harder because I don't like saying that I like High School Musical. But I honestly enjoy High School Musical a lot. Even on Valentine's Day, I remember giving out 
the cards and they were High School Musical. Your birthday, you had a birthday cake was High School Musical. Cake, High School Musical. My backpack was High School Musical. Like my family can tell you I was ride or die. Mm -hmm. I was like um, Gabriella from High School Musical 2 and like her white dress and like the, um, <laughs> what is the song that they sing with Troy Bolton? What is the name? I can't remember the name. I don't remember. I know, I know which song it is. I just can't remember the name. We didn't watch them again. A marathon. I was wanting a marathon. I grew up watching Descendants. They did an entire Descendants thing. All the songs from the first, second, and third movie. And third. And then they announced yesterday the fourth movie. Yeah. It was, it's just a lot. It was crazy. They did a very good job designing and like creating Disney Channel Night. Because there was so much dancing. All of the dancers for like the parade when it came to like the High School Musical and the Zombies Parade. A lot of the dancing was like High School Musical. And I was over here watching um, Becky and Eli and also just a guy and a girl's like live streams. And I'm like over here dancing to the <laughs> at home. Singing the songs. Singing the songs. I'm like, oh my god, they did this. They had um, Platypus, Perry the Platypus. Phineas and Ferb doing the dance party yeah. in Tomorrowland. They had Stitch and Angel and like the other one. I don't know his name. I, I just know he's name. yellow. Um, they had Kim Possible and then um, Ron. Ron walking around. They had Mickey in like a, a, a like Wildcats outfit. Minnie in a Wildcats outfit. I can't outfit. believe I missed that. Like iconic. And like they had a Cheetah Girls section, they had a Halloween Town High section, which I grew up watching Halloween Town mm -hmm. High. Until they changed Marnie. When they changed Marnie, I'm like, no. <laughs> uh, what else? Like I grew up watching all of those movies. Mm -hmm. I still love those movies. Also, um, the Witch Twin, tw the Witch movie, tw Witch. I think it's what it's called. Um, when they're witches, twitches. Because they're twins. Yes. Like, they all also, those movies. They also had a camp rock karaoke. They did. Yeah. They did. And then they had, um, like, a DJ in Small World, and they were playing, like, all the mm -hmm. iconic movies and stuff. Movies, yeah. So, like, it was a fun time. Like, it looked like it was such a fun time. I didn't even go. I was living vicariously through other people, but everyone's outfits, everyone went all out. Yeah. Like... Everyone seemed like they were honestly, truly enjoying, enjoying it, yeah. the the event. They also did really good with like improvising. So mm -hmm. like apparently they were gonna use the Columbia for the Descendants part mm -hmm. and they improvised and like changed it around. And they did that within like the span of probably like an hour. An hour, yeah. Um, it was really nice. I didn't see much food. Like I didn't really, I wasn't really watching much mm -hmm. food. I think everyone was just really excited about like the characters, the photo opportunities, the entertainment. The entertainment. Yeah. Oh, I also grew up watching um, Xenon's Equal. Xenus the penis. I did not watch that. No. Oh, that's a Raven is another one. Mm -hmm. I grew up watching that's a Raven. I don't watch any of like the newer like the newer ones that they started doing, like the. What are they called? Remakes? Like, they started remaking them. I haven't, like, gone into them. Um, but if they ever did Disney Channel Night, I think the only thing they were missing were fireworks. Yeah, fireworks. That's fireworks. all. But it looked amazing. It looked really fun. It looked like so much fun. It looked like you could go, like, you could eat, like, something before the event. Like, mm -hmm. maybe get some pasta so you're full for the rest of the night. And then just like drink a coffee while you're there and yeah. enjoy the rest of the night. The the wait times for like the the, the park didn't seem that long. Oh my god, it is raining really really bad now. Yeah, it is. Like the wait times to meet characters didn't seem long. It looked yeah. like they weren't overcrowding with this event. Or they were pushing the people to like make it faster as well. Yeah. Honestly, it looked really fun. I wish I would have gone. There's another one tomorrow, which I'm hoping it doesn't rain because it is pouring cats and dogs right now like mm -hmm. i want to show you guys the other side of the camera so you guys can see what we're sh seeking shelter i can from. feel it in the back of my it's like falling all over my back right oh, now yeah. <laughs> so this is the other side the madness that you're not seeing i'm sure you can hear it though all right after about 30 minutes i want to say we can officially start walking without 
downpour. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna park up over to Disneyland. There's a little bit more places where you can seek shelter and then there's still more merch over there that we wanna show. So let's park up. We decided to make a pit stop at Nuts About Cheese because there is a macaroon that we wanna get. It's so good, it's big enough for both of us because we're not hungry, we had food before we left, but we do want a little snack. A little snack. We came over to the animation building to seek shelter, but we're also gonna go inside and like draw. But I just wanted to mention that the cast member was nice enough to like, we didn't even ask, like they actually added like a plate over it. So when it get all wet, I just need to take a nice bite because this macaroon is like delicious. It's delicious. Our last video in Food and Wine, she, she said, we're gonna take it home and eat it over there when we, <laughs> we ate it all. <laughs> it's good. You can see how wet we are. <laughs> but here it is. This is messy. But good. It's Snickers. It's literally a Snickers bar and a macaroon. So good. You can see there's a lot of people in here just seeking shelter, trying to stay warm, trying to stay out of the rain. But you do kind of have like TV screens surrounding you, so it's like interesting. And then you also have Turtle Talk and Animation Academy right next to each other, so. We will be doing Oswald, which is my favorite character ever in Disney. So guys, I'm sad because it's not Oswald, we're drawing Tiana. Princess Tiana. All right, we have made it to this point. We're almost going inside of the room. Okay, they finally opened. I think we're thinking blue. Instead of Tiana, it's Princess Juanita. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we are out of the academy. It was fun. My Tiana did not come out like Tiana. Maybe her neck was Tiana, but every, everything else wasn't. I think it's time to park up now. Yes. So we're going to go to Disneyland. There's some more merch. And it's actually pretty cold. Like, I can't wait to get home and eat something warm, edit, and watch High School Musical. And we park up. All right, it is time to get into Emporium. It's starting to drizzle. It's not raining, raining, but it's drizzling, but it's like fast drizzle. So we're gonna seek shelter again. All right, we're in the car. It is currently 6.39. We just wanted to give you some feedback on a day like this. Um, as we were leaving World of Disney, we heard multiple conversations and we're not like necessarily eavesdropping, but one person did ask us like, hey, do you guys have the yearly pass here? Mm -hmm. And although they're not called yearly passes anymore, they are technically, we do have a year that we can come to Disney. Mm -hmm. 
Um, some days are blocked off, but for the most part, we're able to come most of the days. Most of the days. Um, she hasn't been here in seven years. Yeah. And she and her family decided to come today. It was a, it was three of them. Six hundred dollars down the drain. They went on like a couple rides and they had to leave because the rain was just too much. Yeah. And it truly does suck that there's really nothing else that they can do, especially if like they both work and they got specifically today off. Today off. It's not like you can go and ask your job like, hey, instead of today, can I work today and then get a different day? Because there's just a lot that goes into approving um, a day off. A day off. But it truly does suck that like, mm. she's like, I'm probably never going to come back for another couple years. It's sad. It's sad. Honestly. Then there's someone else saying that like, it's not worth it. And like, if you step away from yourself being a magic key holder, we as a match key holder, we have a lot of privilege. Yes. Like, not only are we paying more than a grand to come to Disney, we're able to come multiple times a year, multiple times a month, multiple times a day if we want. Like, we can leave and come back, essentially. Mm -hmm. As opposed to ticket holders, they only get one day. But, I mean, I, I guess I can see it in a yeah. standpoint of, like, when you're a ticket holder... You do understand that, like, you're only coming whether you could come for one day or you get the three day or you get the five day or yeah. however many days you're coming, et cetera, et cetera. But it does suck if they planned a vacation and that vacation is ruined by rain. So please make sure to always check the weather when you're coming to Disneyland. You yeah. No parades. No characters. No characters are out. The photographers are out, but they're they have to work with what they can give you there's really no like a lot of the photos we took today with like photo pass they did their best yes. with the rain um their cameras aren't allowed to be like they're really high they're really like nice cameras so they can't they just, have them in a bag yeah they literally have them in their own poncho yes um you don't you don't get a parade you don't get characters the photo pass photographers are kind of hidden so you're going to be taking photos in not so popular areas. Most of the um, rides are also closed. Most of the rides are closed. And a lot of the rides that you think that you want to go on are most likely going to be down because their queue is outside. outside yeah. Or um, it's like, I would say Big Thunder is probably down. If not, you're going to be sitting on like a ride that's like super wet. Yes. Or um, just waiting there for 30 minutes getting wet. Yeah. Um, it was fun. I enjoyed my time here. You know, we went to an animation academy. We um, had a little snack. We saw merch. Like, we caught up on, like, everything. Mm -hmm. However, like, you do risk yourself also getting sick. Yes. But it sucks that they don't get a do-over, essentially. Yes. And, yeah. like, they're thinking, like, it's not worth it. And there's people who say that even when they're son. Yeah. So, like, I personally think Disney needs to... And we watch a lot of creators who have said this, like JoJo, G. Um, they, they all talk about, you know, East Coast. And they say that, like, East Coast has, like, a big... Um, they have a news flash coming, like, because of epic universe opening up next year yes like they have a news flash kind of hitting them currently with like it already takes a week for you to be able to do all four parks in walt disney world and universal is now gonna have the third park the third park to compete with that and universal has said that it's gonna take a week to explore epic universe itself mm -hmm. and that's gonna be the third gate but yet, Bob Iger literally just announced that they can do seven new lands throughout all Disney parks. And I'm like, I as a cast member, as an ex-cast member, I look at the space that we have in backstage, and I'm like, where? Or Avatar. He, he announced that Av Avatar is going to have a land, not just an attraction. It's I, not going to be an experience. It's going to so, be a land. I don't know. And I'm like, where? <laughs> As a cast member, I'm as an ex-cast member, I'm like, where? 
there's a little bit of space behind Avengers Campus, but I'm like, where? The only thing you can think of is opening up a third gate, and there's still no movement on that. No. If there, if I'm being quite honest with you, there's still no movement on that. Um, Disneyland itself, they're doing a lot of facelifts. Like they're doing, yeah. like um, City Hall is getting facelift. Um, other stuff like um, the firehouse is getting a facelift but it's like where is besides Disney Channel night being a really good um, a really good expense that they made because everybody loves it experience and an experience where is something new that people who come every seven years are gonna experience and are gonna be like, oh my god, this is here. Cause I know what Disney World has that. Like Epcot is like a literally like, wow, they have that here. Everywhere yeah. you walk in Epcot, Epcot is like everywhere. Like mm -hmm. when I go to when I when we go to Epcot next, I'm still gonna be in shock that that is Epcot. Yes, it's amazing. <laughs> when you go to Animal Kingdom, you think like, oh my god, they have the Tree of Life. Oh my God, this is Pandora Land. Oh my God, they have the safari. Mm -hmm. And then kind of uni Universal, not Universal Studios, Hollywood Studios and kind of DCA are kind of like almost similar, except they have Toy Story Land. Yes. But we have Pixar, like ours is kind of like Toy Story Land. Yeah. Like we have like a bunch of Toy Story rides back to back. I don't know. It's just food for thought. I'm just like spiraling at this point with like, we need something new and we need something fast because it's getting boresome for people who come every seven years. I get it though. I truly do get it. Like as a, as a magic key holder, I enjoy coming to the park every day. I enjoy yes. figuring out something new that I haven't done before, but I have the privilege of doing so. Others don't. And we get a lot of comments as well that they want to plan something but it's getting very expensive and they see that it's very crowded and they kind of yeah. like stop themselves from doing yeah. so i also like was reading a couple instagram posts um from cali bay where like he's mentioned are they overselling magic key holders like magic keys because they did if you really do think about it ma like disneyland is mainly magic keys i feel like and it didn't no. even sell so they're not selling i think imagine key is the only one that has sold so far right now wow all the three uh, key passes are still available so what does that say because usually magic keys sell out like yeah like that so are they like just overselling just to like for for giggles at this point or more do you guys want more crowd because like after dark events we went to sweethearts night those are those are after dark events that you're paying for the crowds not to be so wild, so wild. like a regular park day. You're getting a couple hours of regular um, park hours, and then you're mm. getting exclusive hours to whatever after dark event you're going to. I've previously gone to Star Wars Night, where it was super crowded. Now mm. Star Wars Night isn't being sold; like their tickets aren't selling out because I'm I'm pretty sure they you know like people have gotten smart of like no they overcrowd it so now guess what they're not selling out of those tickets what did end up selling out sweethearts night disney channel night well, disney channel night took a long time to sell out but it was a hit but it was a hit now now everyone's gonna want to come to disney channel night yeah the only thing i feel like was missing from disney channel night was maybe like fireworks because yeah. they did previously do fireworks for Star Wars Night, which they won't then have, took away they won't this, have year. this year. Yeah. Either way, um, we understand that we, like me and Jesse, have a privilege of coming to Disney because we have a magic key. But we still understand and we still kind of like feel for those who can't come or when they do come, they're upset or when they do come, they're disappointed. Like we do understand yeah. that because 
we can sometimes be just like I, I as a magic key holder I have the right to feel like sometimes disappointed because I'm like dang like I came and like her family comes and we understand that mm -hmm. like my mom comes my brother yeah let's say if they come on a rainy day they basically don't get anything yeah or even my mom my mom lives in New York let's say one day she's like mommy let's go to Disneyland I'm like yeah mom um, fly down we'll go to Disneyland and then it's gonna be my mom your mom Kevin um, your dad and it's like a big group of us my dad and then possibly my sister my brother has a pass along with his family so it's like most of us have passes most of us don't the ones who don't if we by any chance come on a rainy day they don't have a redo as like we do no which sucks so like really focusing on like the day you're coming but even then you don't know because the weather is weird yes. one day it'll say it's raining and then the following day it says it's going to be sunny and then you come and then like it there's rain out of nowhere it's happened to us it's happened to us like we were in downtown one time and we were like oh it's going to be sunny no nope, it started raining out of, nowhere, out of nowhere and it didn't have rain in the forecast no and then there was one day where it said it was going to rain all day and it only rained like two hours and we didn't plan anything mm. so like there's back and forth like i can go at this a lot longer but it's already been 11 minutes so <laughs> i'm probably gonna like so please make sure to watch the video our tips video yeah to like help. really make sure you watch that because a lot of those tips are very hopeful like helpful um they'll help you set up a successful like truly a successful day um but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. We will see you guys in the next one. Mm. This, this next 12 parts, you can either skip through it or you can watch. But we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye, Bye, guys.